Hey there everyone, Mr. Jerry here. It is Monday, March 30th. We're back in session. Uh, we have our first day of class after our spring break. And uh, somebody out in the back there is not practicing uh, you know, the best habits. They're not riding their bike, hopefully by themselves. But I wanted to come talk to you today um, about one of my favorite authors. And I picked one of, one of my favorite books by him. And the guy's name is Kurt Vonnegut. Um, and he's most well known for a book called Slaughterhouse Five, um, but some of his others, The Sirens of Titan and the one I have in my hands here, Breakfast of Champions, are two of my favorite books. Now, I discovered Vonnegut when I was roughly a freshman or sophomore in high school. And my first time through reading all of his literature, I didn't understand much of it, but I enjoyed it so much. The language, the way that he spoke, the way that he talked about things, this dark, cynical humor, um, that was pervasive through all of his works and the nods to sci-fi and, and so many of the other things that um, as a teenager and then as a young man and now as, uh, you know, as, as an adult that I've always really enjoyed. Um, I've always been able to find in his books. And as we're getting ready in English 11 actually to begin reading Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury, uh, I just want to encourage you in this time that when we are thinking about all the things that are still left to do, when we are focusing on all of the things that we can't do by not being able to go out or socialize or compete in sports or athletics or, or theater or productions or whatever your thing might be, that this is one of the more original forms of entertainment. Not books necessarily, not the novel, but stories. Stories have been told and passed down from the oral traditions of of mainland Europe, across the world, across different continents. Uh, you know, I say mainland Europe because I taught Beowulf for Brit Lit, one of the oldest epics in Europe. Um, and then you see how these stories have evolved and changed. We get epic poetry, we get the play, we get the novel, the novella, we have screenplays and movies, but all that comes down to is that it's stories. People telling people stories. So if you're looking for something to do during this time, and this is not the English teacher plug in the, but just the practicality of it all. If you're looking for something to do, find a story and engage with it. Whether that be a book, which I'd recommend because it grows both your mind and, and your experiences in the world, but even an immersive game. Maybe it's a series. Maybe it's something, but be active in it. Be part of it. Think about what it is and don't just merely absorb it. What is the meaning? What is the message? What is the truth that this story hopes to convey? With that, hopefully we'll have more details on the day-to-day -day aspects of school life coming up here in the next few weeks. But until we do, know that we are, we being your teachers, are thinking about you, um, that we miss you. I myself miss, miss each and every one of you. Second hour, third hour English 11. 5 BC and 6 hour AP language, I, I miss you. Not the idea of you, I miss each and every one of you, students. So, be well, be smart, see you soon.